Hello everyone, I'm Great Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Factorio 1.0 for episode 120. Where yeah, we are still working on oil processing. That takes a while apparently. But we have lubricant done, prioritized over cracking heavy oil into light oil. Though we did do that based on barrels. Maybe it's time to actually decide what goes where here. Do we still have this? Yes, we do. Let's call this lubricant. And well, they're not really depots anymore. Well, not what I consider depots. For some reason, I'm calling everything that is an input to an output post for a depot. And everything going out is not a depot in my mind for some reason. Uh, so lubricant. Let's go with the light oil. And sulfuric acid. And. Petroleum. Okay. So maybe we should also start requesting everything for this. Keep this down four hundred. And actively provide empty barrels into storage. And that should be everything for lubricant, right? So if we actually add some water to this system, I don't think this water is going to stay here, but for now, let's get it started. We see some lubricant. Good. This was light oil. Let's keep it at four hundred again. And actively provide good. Then it's so very right? Yep. Four hundred. Actively provide and still, yeah, these limits are just fine, I think. Maybe not actually. Let's unlimit them. We don't want it to stop just because there's more than a hundred chests in here and the robots are being slow or something. And this is then petroleum. Only 400. Right now we do not have any lubricant barrels in the system, so it's not pumping. 
should we mesh on this instead? Can we expose this easily to the logistics network? Just connected to a rope port. No. To a chest. I'm pretty sure this is possible somehow. Why can I not figure that out? Hmm. What am I not considering here? I guess I will try and remember to try and figure that out between episodes and let's work with barrel count for now. I mean... Well, it's not possible to actually select fluids in here, so maybe it's just not possible. Let's leave it at barrels for now then. So, how about we figure out... Well, first of all we need to actually barrel up as much light oil as we ever need. But after that we need to crack the rest down into petroleum. Occupied the space we needed for water with this thing. How can we do that better? Well, we can always just put this here instead, I guess. this down
No, not this. Crack. Light oil into petroleum, please. This water thing is going to be annoying. I guess we should put it down here instead. Let's actually do that right now. Because we also need a pump here. And you are only allowed to do this if we have a good amount of light oil. Yeah, the thresholds will need to be adjusted later, but for now we just think with it lightly. Good. So, how much light oil are we producing? So we take our crafting speed of 8.55 multiplied by 45. We already have the 5 second crafting time divided by 5 machines. That's just 1. So 384.75 plus whatever we can make here. Thirty light oil every two seconds. That's ninety light light oil every two seconds multiplied by Oh, let's just do this. Ninety multiplied by one point three multiplied by crafting speed which is still 6.55 then divided by 2 seconds I'm f doing something completely wrong here what am I doing? we can produce 30 light oil every 2 seconds with 3 machines that 90 light oil every 2 seconds 90 light oil every two seconds with a bonus and with the crafting speed so i'm guessing that it can't figure out the rules of math here at least i hope it's not me who can't figure this out So we produce basically the same amount as the... Oh dear. Really? I haven't been attacked for so long. Well, guess that's new. a lot of stuff before I get over there. Guess we need a radar out here to clear some of all this out. <laughs> it 
so much destruction. So we get this two times. That's 770, basically. Let's just pay 770. Maybe we should actually take care of this. But it's just about it from here where we actually don't even have any radars for some reason so that's an improvement can we make more only two Symmetry. Okay, so those will hopefully scan this before we have any more accidents. Luckily we have plenty of iron cannons. Maybe we should actually go to... Wait, what? Oh, delete that. Maybe we should actually just go back to file and get restocked with everything that we might need. We are getting pretty close to it anyway. It's quite a lot further away over here. Maybe we don't need that many modules, at least not productivity modules. We are using, what, something like 16 uh, beacons with two modules needed for every machine using productivity modules. And then, well, we are reusing some of the beacons, of course, but still.
anything we need. We need more underground pipe. Why am I not getting some of that? Am I just waiting for robots coming from far away? Down here somewhere? Yeah, now we're getting some. Oh, it brought it all the way. It brought it from the buffer chest. I wasn't aware that they would prefer using stuff from buffer chest over storage chest. That annoys me a bit, but whatever. Let's go back out. Oh, out here. Are we killing lots of pilots? Yep. We also need a radar down here, which I've forgotten for some reason. And right here. Okay, back to oil processing. We had 770 light oil per second in at least some cases. We can use 30 every two seconds so. They are in there, okay. With a crafting speed of 6.55. So we need eight machines being able to crack light oil. That's five. This isn't enough, so let's not try and use that. Six, seven, eight. And we are speakers on my. Oh, dang it! I let the train go back to here. I think. Nope. No, not there. Stop that. Come out here instead. And let's just make sure that it doesn't leave again before I get my stuff. Okay, so let's take care of all of the light oil. Uh, why are we pumping petroleum into light oil crane? And how are we even allowed to do this? This should be mixing fluids, right? Are we allowed to go past a... Maybe we are allowed to go past an input if there's nothing in there.
Okay, so let's also connect these. And then we can start thinking about barreling petroleum up. Can we somehow connect this as well? Or maybe we should just make two petroleum barreling thing. These will also, of course, barrel up this stuff in here because we have them connected. The pipes might not be able to handle it, but we'll figure that out in a bit. Okay, so we can now do that. We should only be allowed to do this if we have enough for acid though. Which we don't right now, and that's fine. Sulfuric acid. Water and petroleum. Good, good. Oh, we got our train back, right? Yes. Uh, what was it? Beacons. I guess we make sulfur first. Mm -hmm. Do we just output this here? Did we actually use robots for this on the other oil processing area? Yeah, we did. So we had ten, no, four there, five here, nine to four. Maybe we can do something a bit smarter using belts, because I don't want robot to have to bring all this salt core back and forth. Robots will be busy with, well, carrying barrels.
that gives it one input. We could do something like this. Move you a bit further away. Something like this. That should work right. It might not be the correct ratio entirely, but does that really matter? Now we don't need that much sunburg as it we just need it for batteries basically. But I guess we can get it all the way down if we want to. At least we need enough that we are allowed to crack the petroleum into light. No, not crack it. Barrel it up, I mean. You are water, you need a connection. Let's just get it all the way up. Oh, and of course we need to handle the output. And we need to be able to get the fluid all the way down to barreling here. But unfortunately, this is all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.